Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to send an email from Laravel application. Sending of an email is a common feature of any web application, this is mainly used for connect with customer for sending their feedback or query. But in Laravel send of an email is not much easier than send an email from simple PHP script or from CodeIgniter application. In Laravel we will mailable for send an email, in Laravel there are number of other email class available but here we will use mailable for send an email in Laravel. This is our Laravel application working folder and in this first we want to make one controller for handle HTTP request. For this we have go to command prompt in which we have already run composer command and we have come into Laravel working folder, so for create controller we have write this command. This command has make send email controller under app folder and under this we have to open HTTP folder and under this HTTP folder we have to open controller folder and here we can see send email controller file. Under this file first we have make index function, this is the root function of this controller. Under this function we have write return statement with view method and under this method we have write send email view file which we have already created under resources slash views folder. In send email dot blade dot php view file we have already imported javascript library jquery and bootstrap library. Under this file we have to make one form for send an email, so here we have write form with attribute method is equal to post and action is equal to url function and. Under this we have write send email controller slash send function, so when we have click on form submit button then it will send request to send method of send email controller. Under this function first we have write csrf field function, this function will protect your application from cross-site request forgery attacks. First we have to make text box for enter name details, so here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal name, under this field user can enter their name details. After this we want to make text box for enter email details, so here we have write input type is equal to text and name is equal to email, under this field user can enter their email details. Lastly we have write text area field with name is equal to message, under this field user can enter any query which has asked to owner of website. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal submit, name is equal to send and value is equal to send, by click on this button user can submit their details. Now we have go to send email controller and make send method for request form request. Under this method first we want to validate data, so here we have write dollar this with validate method, this method will run the validator rules against form data. Under this method first we have write dollar request variable and in second argument we have to define data validation rules in array format. So here first we want to validate username data, 
so in key we have write name and in value we have write required rules, this rules will check this name field has some data otherwise it will display error. Same way we want to validate email data, so here in key we have write email and in value we have write required rules and email, this will check email field has some data and it will check this must be an email. Lastly we want validate message data, so here in key we have write message and in value we have write required, that means this field data also required for submit form. If any of the validation rule not follow then it will load index method send email view file with validation rules. Now we have go to send email.blade.php file and here we want to display validation message, so here we have write at the rate if statement and under condition we have write count function errors greater than zero. This condition will check there is any validation error has occur then it will execute if block of code, so first we want to close if block, so here we have write at the rate end if. Under this block we have write division tag with class is equal to alert and alert danger class of bootstrap. For display validation message we have write at the rate for each loop and under condition we have write dollar errors variable with all method as dollar error variable. This all method will fetch error message from dollar errors variable which we can fetch from dollar error variable, and for close for each loop here we have write at the rate end for each. For display error here we have write list tag and between we have write dollar error variable expression, it will display validation message on we page. Now we want to set root of this both method, so we have go to roots folder web.php file. Under this file we have write root class with get method with two argument. In first argument we have write send email and in second argument we have write send email controller at the rate index method. So when in browser when we have type base url slash send email then it will called index method of send email controller. After this we want to send root for send method. So here we have write root class with post method and under this method we have write send email slash send and in second argument we have write send email controller at the rate send method. So when in browser when form has been submitted and send request to send method then it will execute send method of send email controller. Now we want to check first validation working properly or not, so we have go to command prompt and write php artisan serve command, this command will run our Laravel application. Here in browser we have write base url slash send email then it has load contact form on web page, now we have directly click on submit button. After directly click on submit button then we can see validation message on web page, so here are validation rules working properly in Laravel. Now we have proceed for send email, so we have go to command prompt and first we have stop Laravel server and type this command. This command will make mailable class with name like sendmail.php under this mail folder which we can see here. Now we have opened this sendmail class and under this class we have defined one public dollar data variable, this variable we will use for make dynamic email body. 
Here we have can see construct method function, so here in this function argument we have write dollar data variable. And under this method we have write dollar this with data variable is equal to dollar data variable. Here we have store construct method dollar data argument we have store under this public dollar data variable. Now we have go to build function, this function build message, in this function we can define from which email id email should be sent, subject of email and email body from view file. So here we have write return statement with dollar this with from method and under this method we have write john at the rate webs lesson dot info. So here we have define email must be sent using this email address. After this we have write subject method and under this we have write new customer inquiry. Here we have define static subject of email. Here we can also make dynamic subject also. Then after here we have write view method and under this we have write dynamic email template which is view which we have already make under view folder. Email body has taken from this view file code. Now we have want pass value under this view file. So here we have write with method with two argument. Under first argument we have write data and in second argument we have write dollar this data variable. By using this with method we can access value of this data variable under dynamic email template view file. Now we have open dynamic email template view file. Here we can see some text. Now we want to display name of user who has filled the form. So here we have write open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write dollar date and name variable. So whichever name user has filled under form, that name will be appear in email body also. After this we want to add customer query which he has write under message tag must be appear in this email body. So here we have write open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write dollar data message variable. This way we have make dynamic email body. Now we want to set email configuration for send email from Laravel application. For this we have go to .env file and here in mail driver option we have define SMTP driver for send email. In second option we have define mail host. So here we have define our mail host address. Here you can define your email host name. In third option we can see mail port. So here we have write 80. Here we have define our email host, here you can which every port number has been used by your host. In fourth option which is mail username, here you have to define your email address username. In fifth option we can see mail password, here also you have to define your email address password. And last option which is mail encryption set to null, so this all information must be provide for email configuration. So here our email configuration is ready. Now we have send email controller, here first we have define mail class, for this here we have write this use statement. By using this code we can use Laravel mailer class. After this we have write use statement with app forward slash mail forward slash send mail. Here we have define mailable send mail class. By using this class we can send email. Now we have go to send method and here we have write dollar data variable is equal to array.
in array first key we have write name and value get from dollar request name variable and in second key we have write message and value get from dollar request message variable this way we have store required form data under this dollar data variable in array format now we can pass the send email mailable class and that class pass this data into dynamic email template view file. So first we have write mail class with to method and under this method we have write email address. Here we have define email address to which all email will be sent. After this we have write send method and under this method we have write new send mail class object with dollar data variable as argument, here we have create send mail class object. This method will send a message using the given mailer. Now we have write return statement with back method, this method will redirect page to previous page location. After this we have write with method with two argument, in first argument we have write success and in second argument we have write success message, this method will add a piece of data to the view. Lastly we want to display success message in send email.blade.php view file. So here we have write at the rate if statement and under condition we have write dollar message is equal to session class get method and under this we have write success. This condition will check there is any message with name success has been store under session then it will store that into dollar message variable and it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have use bootstrap library alert class and here we want to display message we have write open and close to curly bracket and between this we have write dollar message variable. It will display success message on web page, now we have check output in browser. So friends we have already check form validation is working or not and it is working, now we have refresh page. After refresh of web page, now we have start filling form data, so in name text box we have write Peter Parker, in email field we have write Peter Parker at the rate gmail.com and in message field we have write some query. After filling of all form field now we have click on send button, after click on send button it has take some time for send an email from this Laravel application. After successfully sending of email we can see success message above the form, now we have go to email inbox and check email has been received or not. So here we can see email with subject like new customer inquiry has been received here and in email body we can see Peter Parker name and below we can see query which has been written by Peter Parker in email body. So this way we can send email in Laravel by using mailable mailer. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.